Help yourself. Good morning, Mustang family. Welcome back to another beautiful school day here at Hered Christian School. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and join me in the pledges. Please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Please face the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. The pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Please be seated. Celebrating a birthday today, we have Isaac Gomez, one of our awesome freshmen. Happy birthday, Isaac. God bless you, brother. All right, today marks our very first field day um, of the school year. Uh, tomorrow we will continue with our high school and then culminate on Thursday with our middle school. All right, students, our goal today is to start boarding the first bus at 840 to depart by 845. And our, our goal is to begin everything at Amelia Earhart Park at 930 a.m. So begin all the activities at 9.30 a.m. So teachers, please adhere to the schedule. We will do an all call with the grade levels. We'll start with our youngest students in kindergarten. So just wait for the all call. We will make an all call announcement when you can start getting ready and make your way to the front of the chapel. I wanna remind students all week, those of you participating in field day, um, make sure that you wear your sunscreen, you, you eat a nice light breakfast because it's hot out there. Make sure you hydrate prior to, okay? In the morning, drink some water. We are gonna have water hydration stations set up at the park, but nevertheless, you need to hydrate prior to the activities. You don't wanna wait until you're dehydrated. Okay, so also tomorrow, as we stated, we have our high school field day. Students, remember, turning in the form is not enough to board the buses. You have to have made that payment by now, okay? So please be aware of this. Payment should have been received already for high school and middle school students. Tomorrow, our fourth and fifth grade students go on a field trip to the Mikasuki Village, all right? And tomorrow officially is our senior class's last school day. So we are so very proud of our senior class. God bless you all. We look forward to the graduation ceremony next Thursday, the 25th, uh, as we celebrate our, our seniors and uh, as they embark on their adulthood and all the different universities that they're gonna be attending. We're so, so very proud of our senior class, a class of 2023, a great class. But God bless you all. We also have some kindergarten uh, graduations. Okay, so tonight we have our, our first one at 7 p.m., our K-5A graduation. Tomorrow we have one, our other K-5C graduation. And then on Thursday we have our K-5B graduation. Okay. On Friday, we also have a preschool end of year field trip. So it's so excited for our preschool students. Also on Friday the 19th, our official middle school and high school elective selection form becomes live. That'll be sent via email with a link to the Google form. That Google form will be live and accepting responses until the end of July. Okay, folks. So you do have time to make your selections. Remember, it's based on seniority, meaning our Rising seniors have top choices in high school. And of course our eighth graders have top choices in middle school and so on. Um, you don't wanna wait too long, but you definitely wanna ruminate on it. Think about your choices, what's gonna fit you best and make sure that you choose five, okay? 
we're going to try our best to make sure you get three of those five. So make sure that you choose five choices. We have a lot of new electives coming down the pike this year. So very excited. All right, next week is our final week. As you all know, on Monday, we have an elementary end of year awards. Uh, we have our K-4 graduation in the evening at 6.30 p.m. Then on Tuesday, the 23rd, our, uh, our seventh grade group goes to the Rapids Water Park, their end of year trip. We have the high school end of year awards at 9 a.m. We have our K-3 graduation at 6.30 p.m. Then on Wednesday, we have our, at 9 a.m. in the morning, we have our end of, our middle school end of year awards. And then on Thursday is the big one, guys, our senior graduation at 6.30 p.m. at Miami-Dade North in their auditorium. Our commencement speaker this year is the very own, uh, our mayor of the city of Hialeah, Esteban Bobo, will be our commencement speaker this year. So very excited about that and the message that he's going to be bringing. All right, folks, I hope everyone has an amazing day. Remember, teachers, wait for the all call. We're going to begin with our little ones in K-5. And then remember, preschool, you start at 9 a.m. So we'll make an all call to remind you of that as well, probably uh, 15 to, uh, 10 to 15 minutes prior to. Uh, Coach Mazzone is setting up out there. We have a team of volunteers. Should be a fun, fun event. Um, um, students, a reminder, those of you that are partaking in field day, make sure you wear sunscreen. It's really hot, guys, or you can wear a hat and make sure to hydrate. All right, folks, I hope everyone has an amazing day. God bless you all. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all that you do in our lives, Father. Lord, we ask that, that you be with all the participants today at our field day events. Keep them safe, Lord. Uh, be with all our volunteers. May they be, uh, may they be aware. May they be diligent. Um, may the safety be the top priority for all our students today, Father. Lord, may all that we do glorify you, Lord. Lord, I ask that you give me guidance and wisdom today, Lord, as we wrap up this school year and plan for the 2023-2024 school year, Father. May we always be a beacon of light in this community, Father. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.